Hi everybody, I'm Margaret Lewin and welcome to Margaret Lewin Quilting. This little video is going to be our Quick Tip Tuesday video on how to read your ruler. So I have in front of me a notebook to write notes for you guys, my Creative Grids 12 and a half inch ruler and just a piece of plain white material behind it to help you see the lines. What I'd like to show you is where we find the one inch mark, the one and a half inch mark, the one and a quarter inch mark, the one in three quarter inch mark, and I would also like to show you how we go about finding all of our eighth marks. Lots of times we'll see things that call for three eighths of an inch or five eighths of an inch. The last thing I wanna show you is where your 45 degree angle is on your ruler. So here we go, all right? First thing I'm gonna show you is the 45. If you take a look at my ruler here, I've got a straight line that goes all the way down. That, if I take it and line it up with the straight of my fabric, and you know my fabric's not perfectly straight, right here, can you see what's happening here? I'm ending up with a 45 degree angle. So by taking the center of this 12 and a half inch ruler and laying it against the straight of grain, look what happens. I get a 45 degree cut. So there's my 45 degree, and that's the first thing that I wanna show you. So the next thing that I wanna show you, I'm gonna pull that up a little bit, and I'm going to draw a line right straight as I can, right down here, okay? From that line, I want you to watch where that line is. I'm gonna start showing you a couple of different measurements. See our line? I'm gonna pull it through. And now look, I have lined up my one inch mark. I'll pull this down a little bit so you can see more of the purple. My purple, well, oh, you can't see a lot of my purple marker, can you? I'll pull the whole thing down. Let's do this, there you go. All right. So if I put my ruler back on there and you see right here, Look, there's my one inch, and it's buried right underneath that straight line, so it makes it hard for you to see it. So I'm gonna push it this way. Now you can see it's truly there. There's your one inch mark. And on rulers, they're really nice about giving you your whole numbers all the way across. One of the reasons why I like my Creative Grids markers rulers so much is because they have on two sides of it, your quarter inch seam right there. So I can take your quarter inch mark and line my ruler right up on that quarter inch. And if I was to draw a line like that, look, I'm exactly a quarter of an inch away, which makes it really nice when I'm measuring. So now that we've found our one inch and we found a quick an easy quarter of an inch mark. I'm now gonna show you a couple more. When I go about figuring out a quarter of an inch, I always think about a whole number of one because we, we have to find a quarter of an inch beyond whatever number it is. So let's say it's eight and a quarter, or 10 and a quarter, whichever. It's gonna be the same quarter after that whole number. So if I take one, and I know I need a quarter of it, and I divide my one by four, I'm gonna come out with 0.25. So what that means is one quarter of this whole number is my quarter of an inch. So let's put that aside, and I'm gonna bring you over here to the ruler. And I want you to see something, and hopefully you can easily see it. There are some, I'll move this off of that. Oh, I got pen on there. Move it off so that you can see it a little bit easier. In fact, we're gonna go to the two because it's really easy to see the two. 
we look at this, we have little hashtags in between. And I think you can pretty easily see that this longest one is our half inch mark. So that's pretty easy to see because it's right in the middle. Well, a quarter is a half split in half, right? If you take 50 cents and you split that in half, you've only got 25 cents. Well, the same thing happens on the ruler. If you take a half, right here, a half, and you split that in half, you're gonna end up right here. So now you have a quarter of it. All right, so let's line that one up over here. So I'm gonna line this up right there. Well, let's line it this way. I think maybe that'll be easier. So I line that number up there. And now look, remember the quarter of an inch that we drew over here? If you see my line here, look, I've got exactly a quarter of an inch again. So what this mark is representing is one and a quarter inches from here. So from here over to here would be one inch. But from here to here equals one in one quarter of an inch. Okay. The next thing we're going to do, I'm going to put that right back on one. And you can see now this is our one and a half. All right, I'll make a little mark there. Our one and three quarters would now be between a half and two because again, we're splitting it. So right here is our one and three quarters. So we've got, here's one to one and a quarter to one and a half to one and three quarters. Okay. And if I was to take this right up against that ruler, I think you can just about see my numbers. I'm gonna line this up a little bit better. Here you go. You've got, let's move this to the quarter, which is what it was meant to be on. So there's our quarter. So here we go. There's our quarter. Here's our half. And then here's our three quarter mark. So you can see right here, two and a quarter two and a half, and then two and three quarters. All right. The next thing I would like to show you how to do is the eights, okay? Eights can be a little confusing and we can get really intimidated by those. So I'm gonna flip this piece of fabric over so that we've got a clean piece to work with again. And I want you to count with me the number of lines that we have between the one and the two. Now the same thing applies between the zero and the one, but I've got this 45 degree angle there, so I wanna kind of ignore that and keep that out of your sight so that you're not having to have to deal with it. So we have, this is our start, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we go. So what we're gonna do at this point, we, we're gonna ignore this one, and we're gonna go one, two, three, four. That's a half, five, six, seven, eight. So from this point to this point, we have eight hash marks, eight little points. So let's say we need three eighths. If we need three eighths of a yard, we're going to go to the whole number first on our ruler, and then we're gonna count out three eighths. So we need one and three eighths, let's say. So there's our one, and we're gonna go one, two, three. <gasps> right there, one and three eighths. Isn't that simple? When we, when we understand what's going on behind it, it makes it much easier. Now let's say we need five eighths. So we're gonna one, two, three, four, five. Here 
is our 5 eighths. That little line right there represents 5 eighths. Now let's say, so I'm going to mark these. We got 3 eighths. We got 5 eighths. Now what happens if we need 7 eighths? Let's do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 eighths. So right here is our 7 eighths mark. So that's how you go about finding the numbers that you need on your ruler. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope you're having a fantastic day. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget to pop on over to our Facebook group and also join us there. Thanks so much for joining me today, and I hope you're having a fantastic day.